All right, let's check in with Holly because we have a slight cool down this week, but really <laughs> yeah. hot temperatures are expected by the end of the week. So we next need to weekend, take you advantage. know, everyone's coming for me and saying it's too hot too soon. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm You're just, just the, the messenger. Who's coming for you? <laughs> people are angry. The oh. heat makes people angry. Yes. That is one thing I've learned here. So even myself, I mean, earlier today, walking to the car, I'm like, come on. You were angry. Yes. Yeah, very irritable. I was mad. It makes people irritable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's not the best, right? We'll have to deal with it for the next couple of months. It's something we're all used to, but the month of June has shaped up to be the warmest uh, start to June that we've actually had on record. So if you feel like it's hot, yeah, we've been trending a lot warmer than normal. 112, that was the high today here in Phoenix. Uh, keep in mind, we should be at 105. So we're seeing these temperatures that are just much warmer than normal. The excessive heat warning that was in effect throughout the last couple of days, that has since expired. 84 degrees. That was our high today in the Flagstaff area, 95 in Sedona. So every single day of this month so far, temperatures have been warmer than normal. That's what all of these red boxes represent. If it's blue, that means below normal and no blue there on the calendar. Outside right now, we're in the 70s in Sholo and in Winslow, upper 60s for Flagstaff, still in the mid to upper 90s out along the Colorado River. So it's still pretty warm in our lower desert areas. The concern heading into our Monday, this is going to be the five high fire danger as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. This uh, fire weather warning that will stay in effect throughout the day for tomorrow. This includes northern Arizona, but then also just north and east in the higher terrain of Phoenix. So areas like the Tonto Basin, where we've seen many wildfires already this year out toward Globe as well. So they're just asking that you follow fire restrictions as well as the fire bans that are in effect in some parts of the state. So tonight we'll cool things down to the 40s in Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon will fall into the 80s here in Phoenix out toward Lake Havasu as well. 75 for Gila Bend and Yuma. So head out early if you do want to get any exercise for tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the 80s through that 8 o'clock hour and then mid 90s by 10 o'clock. We're looking at high temps tomorrow, triple digits for Tucson and for Safford as well. Cooler air in Greer at 70 degrees tomorrow. 83 for Heber. We'll be in the 80s in the Prescott Valley and in Ash Fork. The hottest temperatures will be right here in Phoenix, Lake Havasu and Parker at 105. So we have this low pressure system passing just to the north of us. This guy here is what's allowing us to cool things down just a little bit. So a big thanks to that low pressure system. It will return us to seasonal temperatures the next few afternoons, but then comes kind of this ridge of high pressure you see here. That's what's going to crank temps back up as we head into later of uh, later half of this week and next weekend. A little bit windy to breezy across the state for tomorrow. The winds will pick up after that noontime hour and be strongest up in the northern portions of the state in our mountain areas. 105 tomorrow, 104 Tuesday, 105 Wednesday. So seasonal temps the next few days. And then Emma mentioned it right here comes the big warm up. 112 for Thursday, 114 for Friday and above 110 for the weekend. All right, June off to a hot start there, Holly. Thank you.